hello, hello, my love bugs. Once again, it's your girl, Lumi Love, here with another message from the divine. As I always say, today, if you're hearing my voice, I ask that you harden out your heart, for I'm just a messenger, and we are all here to witness and learn. Thank you guys for the likes, subscribe, shares, and views. Everything's greatly appreciated, my boos. So let's go ahead and get into it on this good Friday evening. We're going to read it about some money at this point, okay? Because I'm hearing um, <clears throat> money, 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 money. Some people got to have it. Hell, hell, some people really need it. I'll oh, give it to me, y'all, okay? Good things, good things, good things, bad things with that. Okay, so we got somebody who was doing some good things and some bad things with the money. Good things, bad things. So let's see. That's the that's the theme of the good things and bad things. So let's do the good things. Y'all want to do the good things or, or, or the bad things? I don't know. <laughs> okay? You could be this privileged lady who's about to get some house. Maybe you're going to be privileged when you get this house. Maybe you're someone's going to marry you, make you privileged, and then y'all going to move into this house. I don't know. But this community is sick about it, y'all. What I say? Good things, good things, good things, bad things, whatever. All right, this is the feminine's community. So this could be a community that you're from that wants to end this uh, fortune for you. Yeah, it was unexpected for you to get this income. They didn't expect you to be able to receive this income. All these people in this one community that tried to stop you. So it could be your entire community where you stay. It could be a community of people that you were, you grew up around, whatever. But these people was pissed about it, okay? These people wanted to end this for you. They wanted you to stay in poverty. But now you're getting this unexpected income and sudden wealth. Baby, you ain't coming out as a privileged lady for no reason. You're having multiple stems of income that are going to come into you. Baby, so if you ain't really got no, you know, you ain't got really too much going on right now, it's because God is teaching you how to, teaching you what to do with your finances before he gives you these finances, okay? He's also taking people out of your life that don't damn deserve it because if you got a whole community of people that's going to be removed, baby, you're going you gonna to be up in the top, you're going to be in Forbes, love, okay? And you're going to be getting this with a marriage they wanted to keep you out of this marriage since you were a child this community knew that you would stay in poverty if you didn't grow up to know who you were okay this could have been a father figure a mature male around you that wanted to dominate you an older person either you know him or you don't know him this person wanted to dominate you and make sure that you didn't have shit going good for you in your life they didn't want you to live up to your true expectations so this person might have found out a long time ago when you were a child that you were going to be gifted and this person tried to hold you back from that okay this entire community which could be your family they sent you on a journey um or they expected to send you on some type of journey of you always having to work but not receiving anything but now your hard work is paying off you're going to get a gift uh hard work for this family room okay so maybe you an official person in a family room you really might be getting an entire house what hard work for a family room no okay so yeah you might have worked very hard to get accepted by these people this uh people it could have been a mother or father because now we got mature woman or grandmother whoever um these people just in your community in your family they didn't want you to receive whatever this is that you're going to receive it's most definitely yours an official person is going to be bringing you news about this or being able to be the one to serve you the papers about this gift or coming to pick up this gift all right it's going to send a mature woman and whoever she was in love with on a journey so it could have been this mature male okay it could have been just two mature people that were working against you to take money from you but you're most definitely getting unexpected income the gift sudden wealth all that and you're going to be the privileged lady coming out on top over these other people and you're also going to get a love relationship that some mature woman didn't want you to have and that's also going to bring you even more wealth okay so you are set now uh here go the people that were doing the bad things with it see somebody who uh was a false person has bad health because you're now opening the door on this pathway this person is in despair because you're going to go off and be in this marriage and be in a partnership and be able to be held in high honor okay this home high honor so you might really have a real big fancy ass home because of the work the fruits of your labor you might be in a career right now that's going to pay off okay and that's again your career is going to pay off you're going to get this unexpected wealth you're going to get the sudden wealth you're going to get the marriage with the wealth you're going to be around here rich and this, these people all these people are going to be lived in poverty who are trying to work against this courtship who are trying to take this high honor away from you um they didn't want this main male to come in and make you the main female because then you would receive great fortune i'm also getting there is a masculine and a feminine that worked against you for this great fortune that's going to jail a rat 
Okay, see, it's a rat on that picture. These people going to jail. I heard rat. They can't do nothing but think about you. Think about the past. This masculine thinks about the past he had with you and where he's at now in the future. He's trying to change your future because he wants to be the wealthy man, but he's not. He's going to serve some papers that's going to send that ass to jail. And that has him and this feminine concerned because he might have got served some papers at his house. The feminine's afraid that she's going to get served the papers because they're going to jail. Her message, may, may, she may be receiving her message or subpoena. With, <laughs> Her message or subpoena within the next couple days. I'm also hearing that there's a masculine out here who's trying to get back in your energy because you're going to get this sudden wealth, the one that can't stop thinking about you, that left you for somebody. He's trying to get a divorce from this feminine. All right, give me something else on these bad people and the bad things they tried to do. Dang, they mad about it, boy. Somebody fell on the floor. They know they're going to be in poverty, spiritual and material poverty. Yep, from trying to breadcrumb you, from trying to use your energy to take from you, to steal from you. They saw that you had some sort of success. They wanted to end it, so they tried to do something to end your life. I'm telling you, they sent somebody to try to come knock you off, but they tried to do it themselves. These people wanted to send someone to cause some chaos for you. They were spying on you to try to end you. And that would have gave them their life fulfillment. But they are heartbroken. Those two people, the main masculine and main feminine. And whoever this person, the hitman was, I'm hearing. This magician. Okay, they used the magician to try to do this. And now they're upset because all three of their cups spilled. I'm telling you. They're upset because they're under judgment. They're financially juggling now. <clears throat> because they didn't walk away from doing this magic against you. Someone had an epiphany. That you're the truth. Okay, so this masculine must have been doing the magic with this feminine. Then he figured out, damn, she the one that's that's the copycat, not her. Yeah, in secret, she was trying to say that um I'm confused. I'm confused because wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now they work together to try to get you taken out. Using some un using satanic practices, call it what it is. She thought she was going to be smart and be able to do this in secret because she was a part of your family. And if you was moving forward, I don't know. Some Okay, so the main the main male, um, this feminine wanted to start some conflict with you. She wanted to send this, ma so this feminine was going to send this masculine after you to argue with you, to fight with you. She knows that this person is unhinged and she wants this person to control you in order for her to get your power, to get your energy, to get your money, okay? And she tried to get this masculine to get sent toward you or get this masculine to come toward you to try to hurt you or send some people to come with him to your home to try to hurt you so that they can rob you and take some money from you. What's going on? Oh, that's why they asked us going to jail? What happened? Why are they going to jail? How did, how did, how did this get found out? Because this sounds like some... What? King of Wands. Is this Chief of Police? Yes or no? Oh, y'all, it is. I'm hearing convict <laughs> music. <laughs> and you know he up front. Okay, look. This man that went to jail before, they knew he was either stalking you or trying to target you. These people know that this masculine was trying to target you, and he was working together with other people to do it. That's why his feminine is going down, too. They're heavily burdened because they got served some papers to tell them they got to come to court for stalking you, for trying to take an attempt at your life. So these people got caught trying to, trying to knock you off, all right? And they're going to jail. And they did that for the money, money, money. And they did the bad things with it. Now, let's see what the good things you're going to do with your money, baby. Let's see what's going on with you over here. I'm getting you're going to give to the world. This is awesome. You're going to use your money to give back to the world. Financial stability. You're going to get a love offer that's going to come in with constant stability and generational wealth. Because you were in this energy. Energy, you stayed in a higher vibration. You will be independent, self-sufficient, okay? Turning up. Turning up. <clears throat> what else? 
You're still going to continue to work very hard on your craft, walk on your life purpose. That's why you are the empress in this empress energy. That's why you're going to be able to be the one to receive this money because you're responsible. You won't blow it or be selfish on yourself. You know you have a message to give to the world and you're giving this message however you are in your career. And this is what's bringing you this wealth, okay? Also, there is a masculine a king of cups that wants to bring you a message of success but you're gonna have to sneak off to do it because of these haters you guys are gonna go sneak off and celebrate together and that has a lot of people mentally trapped because that's gonna be the beginning the true beginning of your abundance and prosperity and joy okay so someone's coming to sheesh even the police about to come the police about to come tell you they've been working together with you in the background. They've been protecting you, watching you, and they're going to help you move off the common waters. Hallelujah. Just trust your instincts. Keep moving in silent, baby, and you're going to get this passion in the beginning. You better believe. All right, y'all. Do I need anything else? Not for real. This is just a little short one on some money. So let me clear the table. I'll give y'all another reading for the night. I usually don't do this, but I'll go ahead and do it. All right? So come meet me in the next one, loves.